Willkommen in der Schweiz. Bienvenue en Suisse. When I came out of the airport, it seems as the first challenge came to me. I did not know how to get to the student house. My luggage was lost and my parents couldn't contact me because they had no internet connection. It was the orientation week when I was introduced about a school in Swiss country. The week ended up with a barbecue party near the river. Everyone held a kind of beer in their hands and walked around to cheer and talk with each other. But I could not drink alcohol, so I could not do the same. How could I make friends here? I looked at people and felt isolated. Memories came back. I miss valuable moments with family, friends and everything in Vietnam. I wonder if I can stay here for three years without knowing any friends. More and more parties were held, but I did not attend because I could not drink. I was a bland girl. No party, no club, no beer. What should I do? School started, time to study. But here came another party. My friend discussed that, kept asking me to go with them. But I decided not to go one more time. And at the same time, I believe that not drinking alcohol would no more be a barrier for me to join in the counter and the people here. Therefore, I started to do something. I was invited to come to a classmate house. We baked, talked, and had a very good time together. Later, I baked more and more cakes, gave them to some of my friends. As we shared common interests, we become closer and closer. We could talk more in class, discuss food and cuisine of different nations. Not only baking, I started cooking also, and the first challenge was Vietnamese spring roll for the international buffet. Although I did not win the prize, receiving many positive feedbacks from my friends were an enormous happiness to me. I've never imagined I could because just two months before, I was able to cook nothing. My mom always cooks for me. Living on my own helps me to fight out my hidden passions, which are baking and cooking. The more I stay, the more I got to know people here. The more I was pulled out of my comfort zone, and the more I went beyond my limitations. I decided to travel together with one of my friends in the holiday. We did not have much money, so we had to plan carefully where to go, how to get there, what to eat. Some days I even walked 20 to 25 kilometers around the city just to save the cost of transportation. Well, for a girl who never did exercise regularly like me, it was a huge success. Then we discovered many beautiful cities. From Bien with the Brossen Monument to Sorelton with the most beautiful old city I've ever seen. From Niederhorn in a sunny day to modern Zurich. From Neuschentank with the high city, La Chaux de Fonds with two start with my first legging experience. From Geneva with the United Nations and last but not least to Bern with the first snow ever in my life. Up to now I've lived here for 7 months. I get used to most of the things. From country, school, to people, cuisine, transportation. Maybe it's too early to call a place home when I've just been here for a short time. But I think, the day when I have to leave Switzerland, I definitely will miss it a lot. 